guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Felicia, everybody calls me Flick. In today's video, I am testing out another one of the Elf Bite Size palettes. This is in the shade Rose Water. So this is um, very much a cool toned, pinky, mauvey kind of colour story. This is the look that I came up with. I did kind of look at it and go, oh, what am I going to do with that? I picked it up, obviously, because it's is pink I'm going to leave it um but as I kind of got it out um I looked at it I was like ah oh, actually didn't think that through did I but this is obviously the look I come up with um and yeah next clip has got um some swatches in it I did actually just do them as I went this time rather than doing them when I sat down to edit because I forget to do them every time I finish filming but yeah if you haven't already, all of my socials are up here. I would really appreciate it if you can go and follow me on all of those. My Instagram, my TikTok, and my Twitter, all at FizzBeautyXOX. But yeah, let's get into the look. So I'm going in with the e.l.f. Bite Size palette in Rose Water. So, oh, okay, that's show you has a bit of sparkle in it. So this is what it looks like. So we have one matte, one, this matte has actually got some gold reflect in it and two shimmers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna swatch them now so that you can really see that shade on, that second shade in obviously is a bit harder to see, but those um, shimmers are incredibly pretty though. They do very much like those. And it has given me a bit of an idea of what I want to do bit of an idea not much a bit of an idea so with that being said I am just gonna wing it surprise surprise I was gonna go in with one of my other ones but obviously my last video was a neutral one and I didn't want to go in with the other two because as much as one isn't as neutral because it has got the green shade in it it's still kind of neutral um, so I thought I'd go in with this one, more cool tone, it's quite, well, i say it's quite pink, it is pink. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to take this little winged liner angle brush, I'm going to take that dark shade, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start just by smudging that. Obviously, this isn't the way I would normally do things, but I just wanted to kind of try something different. So I've gone in with that first. I'm going to take this fluffy brush, and I'm going to take that light matte shade. And I'm literally just going to do this very light, weird wash of colour, because it's not really going to show up. It's a very light... Okay, and take the darker pink on this bigger brush. Okay, that needs to be wet. That isn't working as well as I would like it to dry. So I'm going to wet my brush with my 
crying the water. And take that fluffy brush again. And then I'm going to take my smaller brush with the lighter shimmer shade. I'll try it dry first. Might not need to wet this one. Yeah, no, I do not need to wet that. Ooh! get that brush again with that darker shade I can clean that up and obviously make that sharper um, after, but I like that. Obviously with it only being one dark shade and with it being a shimmery shade, it's a bit kind of hard to really do much else. It would look a bit weird, I feel, doing much else with it like in the crease or anything. So using it as a, like a liner type thing. Ow. Um, I probably could have done something with it, maybe in my outer corner, but, eh. I feel like if I maybe dotted it in the outer corner, it just wouldn't look right, so I've gone with this. What I might do is just take this little wipe. That's what I should do while I'm on here. I'm already on camera. I've got ages left before it cuts out.
cool. Right, I'm gonna go off, do my base. Um, I'm back to do under eyes and see the end result. Right, I am back. As you can see, I decided to smoke this out. Um, I used, where's my liner? The liner that I got from YesStyle in my um, mystery box, the holiday mystery box, I used that. Um, it's a really, obviously, very jet black liner, it was really nice. Um, so what I did was I literally just took the darkest shade right across my lower lash line. And then as I got to the inner corner, I took the other matte shade and just kind of went from that inner kind of third and just kind of blended it into it. So really, really simple, really, really easy. But as you can see, really effective. And I went with more kind of cat um, eye lashes to go with it. So yeah. Right, I'm back. Sorry, my battery died. Um, so yeah, this is finished look. Um, I did my lips. I used my lip lacquer again, but instead of using my sincere pencil, I used the Daikon, which is Obsession, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I'm actually really glad I went with like a smokier route with it all. Um, yeah, I quite like it actually. Um, the lashes are my Fern McCann ones in Palermo Passion. I don't know what's going on um, with Poundland because I know a friend of mine had been into hers um, in Eastbourne and there's been none. A friend of mine in, up in Enfield, none. I don't know if it's a supply issue or what, but if anyone sees any of the Fern McCann or just right lashes in their local Poundland, please let me know because none of our local ones um have had any for ages but yeah um really happy with how it turns out it's not living up to the expectations that i had against the jalapeno one but i also like it the shimmers are beautiful that light is shimmer especially like i've got on my inner corner i've got it on my inner corner and i did it on my brow bone as well um beautiful um obviously the dark one i did have to wet it not an issue but yeah it is a beautiful palette. I wish the darker shade didn't have that bit of glitter in it. I felt a bit awkward kind of using that in my crease. So that's why I did it as a liner. But I like the look I came up with either way. I haven't done a smoky look like this for a while with like a black shade. So I like it. I think it's different. It's nice. And the, sh like the shape that I've gone with like the cat eye kind of winged out look with these lashes as well. Yeah. Um, Hot Jalapeno is definitely still my favourite, but I have got two more of these to play with. I've got one of the mint collection ones, and I can't remember what the other one is, a neutral one that I've got as well to play with. So I've got two more of these to play with. Yeah, so we'll see how those two fare against um, this one. I'll see, as it stands, Hot Jalapeno is definitely my favourite one so far. If you haven't checked that video out, um, I will link it for you guys to watch. That is definitely my favourite one so far. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. 
and please do consider subscribing it really does help me out if you were returning for videos anyway make some subscribe at least that way you get notified i'm joking um but yeah that's me done for the night i'm gonna go have a cup of tea take my makeup off and get back because my daughter's back at nursery tomorrow it's been a long half term didn't not feel like a week but yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you and i will see you all in the next one Mwah.